Okay, so an update. Um, found out the problem with my um, energy monitor, and it was me. I've been messing with it all afternoon, and I just fucked it up six different ways from Sunday. So that one's got to get cut. That one's going to get cut out. I was just trying something just before seeing if I could get it working again. This one works that lights up, but it doesn't display the voltage. So there's something wrong with the cable somewhere. So replace the cable and also I kept blowing that little fuse, but that's probably because of my frustration, but it's getting there. Um, now, because I have to calibrate that monitor, I'm going to let the batteries charge tonight. So the batteries are at 26.7 volts. So that's one volt less than it was last night. So the batteries are dropping, but we've had this sort of weather with cloud cover all day, well, for the last two days. So um, I'll go back up to the workshop and I'll have a look at my SMA monitor and um, see how many kilowatt hours we've got from the six, ki how many kilowatt hours we've got from the six kilowatt system on the roof. And that'll give us an indication of how much we've got into this battery bank. So it looks like we've only got nine kilowatt hours come down off the solar panels today, 9,000 watt hours. So that's pretty average, but that's all right. That's not the end of the world. It basically means, um, look at that, look at that day. Horrible day. I wonder if yesterday's will come up. Uh, where's that little button? It takes a little bit of time to actually load. Hasn't got very good Bluetooth. So yesterday wasn't much better. Didn't get above two, so 2.3 kilowatts. So it's been two pretty horrible days. So I reckon only two kilowatt hours has gone into those battery banks today. So that's where it is. I'll leave it. I'll leave it offline tonight and and charge all day tomorrow so I can balance uh, calibrate that um the battery monitor also uh what else so youtube that, that's where i've got that's what i've got with uh this this is 26 27 volts leave it like that wait till tomorrow see how we go then we can move forward a little bit moving forward what would i like to do well i'd love to go 48 volt with this project i think that is something that would be awesome it would really make this even more practical i like to go so 48 volt is definitely on the cards uh some of that energy monitor that open source energy monitor really loving that idea done a bit of reading today in between casting around with that energy monitor uh yeah so i mean I, a lot of people commented oh you finished the project pete it's not done i'm not i'm not happy well i'm, I'm <laughs> I'm freaking happy, don't you worry about that. But I want to also get um, more mounts made so I can make more packs. I want to get a 12 volt, a 24 volt, and a 48 volt pack made so I can sell them or something, I don't know. I'll hopefully be able to sell them. I need to make some money from this project, don't I? And what else? I'd like to get them all powder coated so they look good, probably blue. <laughs> but yes, so moving forward, stay tuned. I hope there's plenty more to come. Now, over the weekend, uh, the highest ranking question I get by far is the whole soldering thing. I think I addressed that a few days ago. The second highest question I get is how much and where and when and why did you buy X component? So it's starting tomorrow. I'm going to do pieces of it. I'm going to try and do chunks of it. I'll cover the solar panels. I'll cover what the solar panels were, where I got them from, how much they cost me, how did I mount them. Uh, I don't know about how I mount them because it's just solar panels. But go through each and every step, the cables, the the connectors, the everything. Go through every little bit and list it all in each one. So I'll do solar panels and charge controller on the first one. And then I might do the batteries themselves. Uh, where do I get the fuse wire? What fuse wire? What size? What's the product code on it if I can find it? Where did I get the clips from? Do all that sort of things. And then do the charging side of it. So this bit over here, what charges do I get? How long have I used them? Do I like them? I maybe even do a bit of a real view on 
some things that I've gotten. And then following that, I guess I can do something with the inverters um, and then the computer, how I set the computer up. And then I'll do an overview of the software that I'm using on the computer to control each one. And then we go from there. If you've got any specific questions, ask them below. If you've got, you know how it is guys. Thumbs up and I'll see you soon in the next one. Cheers.